What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be getting into some more of the Blazing news. Um, I know Blazing's been not so hyped for a while and stuff, but we're getting back into it, we're getting back to it. Um, in my last video I did an overview over this whole Blazing news, so if you guys want to um, figure out like everything that's going on with Blazing news, check that video out because I did it in that video. This video is going to specifically be covering the um, free to play Blazing Bash units. Uh, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail and stuff like that um, And tomorrow I'm going to be having like three videos drop I'm going to be covering the Ninja World Clash Scrolls The special attacks and the birthday events So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that guys I'm going to be hitting y'all with that all of that content for Naruto Blazing And everything like that So uh, now that we got that out the way You know I got the bump in the back You know the music in the back uh, Let's go ahead and um, get into this video So Pretty much, in, if you see right here, mid-August info, it says new Super Impact will appear for impacts. The new Super Impact will certainly have the SS rank added when it appears. Additionally, the characters rewarded by the Super Impact will be 6-star and can be Blazin Awakened. Now, if you don't understand what that means, that means that we're going to be having impacts that are free-to-play Blazing Bash units. And um, what it means by that is here. Let me let me show you guys so y'all can understand a little bit better. All right. So if we go to the filter. You see right here how we have uh, six star, right? Uh, we can do body because you know it's your boy. Uh, yeah. So right here we have we have all these six stars. They're all regular six stars, you know. But then if you take this one off, it's like six star plus or blazing awoken units. So pretty much. We are getting free to play Blazing Bash units, which is insane. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you'll be able to obtain it if you don't understand. Um, I'm pretty, I know some people are going to say, like, well, it's kind of common sense, but like, not everybody feels that way, so chill out. Um, all right, so as you can see, we have a regular impact here. Now, oh, I need to do some objectives. Anyways, um, the blazing, the free to play blazing bash is going to, it's going to be a regular impact that is going to be in the emergency mission tab, right? But the thing is, it's going to be an S rank one, and there's going to be an SS rank one, just like with um, Night Guy, just like with Kaguya, and just like with Masked Man. There's going to be an S rank. Well, there's going to be like B A S, and there's going to be an SS rank. So um, obviously, if you do B A, you'll get him at five star one luck. Whoever it is, if you do it on S rank, you get them at a five star five luck. But then if you do SS rank, you'll get them at six star ten luck, and you can blaze and awaken them. Now I'm pretty sure you have to limit break. Ooh, do you? I would assume you don't have to limit break them. I'd assume you don't have to limit break them, cause it is an impact, but it's like it's blaze. Or maybe you have to limit break them to 150 to blaze and awaken them. That might be it. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, so pretty much, uh, like I was saying, it's going to be like, um, not necessarily a normal impact. We don't know who's coming or who's going to be it first. But like I said, it's going to be an impact mission. You'll find it in the emergency mission tab, just like everything else. Um, there's going to be an S rank. There's going to be an SS rank. You're going to grind that mission out, get the max dupes, yada, yada, yada. And then you'll be able to, you know, have the unit. Now, the reason why this is so good and the reason why this is like so hype is because for the longest time people like literally all blazing it has been for the past like what like seven months or something has literally been nothing but pvp like if you weren't doing pvp you weren't playing blazing that much so the fact that they're going to be giving us pvp units for free is going to be a very huge step in the right direction for naruto blazing um Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about the Ninja World Clash Scrolls because that's going to be adding a little bit flip a little bit of flavor to PvP also. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah. Um I remember whenever we first got impacts, and I, I I'm pretty sure the first impact was Jiraiya. Jiraiya was a staple in the game for the longest time. Like literally, and, and you can ask anybody that's been playing a long time. If you would join a multiplayer lobby, at the bottom it would say Jerry. 99 luck Jerry. That meant Jiraiya. If you did not have Jiraiya 99 luck, you was not getting in that lobby, bruh. And then it became Jiraiya and One Tail. And then, you know, from there. But yeah, Jiraiya was like the first impact that you 99 lucked. 
before Jiraiya came out, everybody was rocking 99 Luck Jirobos, right? So, but yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Jiraiya was a really big part in Blazing for the longest time. CM2 Sasuke came out, right? Like, Kushina came out, but she wasn't crazy good, but she was a really good 99 Luck unit because there was only, like, two impacts at the time. But then CM2 Sasuke came out, and he was limit breakable, and he had that dodge mechanic, like, CM2 Sasuke, Sasuke to this day is like top three best free to play units in the game. So that goes without showing. Um, I'm pretty sure these Blazing Bash units are going to be very usable in some way, shape, or form. I don't believe they're going to be like emergency missions where they're not usable. I feel like they're going to actually be good. Like, um, <laughs> if we go to my box, excuse me. If we go to my box and look at some of these emergency missions. Uh, there's a lot, I, I use a lot of emergency missions as units, like, uh, here, let's go to limit, or level, let's do level, okay, so, yeah, Kaguya is my, she's my 99 luck lead, and she's really, she's hitting for, like, 2100 vast range, as y'all all know, uh, the third right Kage was my 99 luck lead for the longest time, I love him to death. Uh, it was my first ultimate impact unit. Madara is insanely good. I'm right here. Oh, that's my friend. Shout out to my boy, Gamer. Uh, Madara is my 99 luck lead. He's insanely good. All three of those units are insanely good for impacts. Uh, Yugito was like the best heart impact for the longest time. Uh, Toby Rama and Hashirama were, they're all right, but you know, whatever. Obito was one of the best impacts for a long time. Roshi's insanely good. Um, Hanzo's pretty good. Pain's pretty good. So... That goes to show that they're like impacts do have uses, and I feel like if they take the Blazing Bash free to play units in the right direction with making them, it, they don't have to make them as good as like Hinata, like Blazing Bash Hinata, Blazing Bash Gara. But if you make them a little bit worse than those units it, to the point where we can actually use them, I think it'll be a really good job. And I, I'm really excited, you can tell in my voice, I'm really excited, I can't wait for this stuff to happen. So anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.